sure surprise some people like that when I do play it. Like, what? I lost to you? <laughs> Somebody was so salty, he just like told me like, what? And I was like, what do you want to do, man? You're good. I ain't that free. Right, speaking of good, we have Ant versus Magazo up here. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Magazo. Yeah, Magazo. Uh, I said Magazo. I had an extra O for you. Oh. Hey man, I don't know. There's the SD right there. Oh no, he has SD'd already. No damage onto Ant. Okay, okay Ant. Okay. We gonna see it. The crazy, nice, and he falls on really knowing that he has a way out. Looking for a free shield, uh, shield grab. Uh, grabbing your hand, shield grab. Right here, sorry about all these things. Really nice to go for a back air. One more for the Lord. Good coverage here, because the ground cover and the aerial lift. Magazo tries to go for no, no, he grabs him. I was going to say, he has not been hit yet. 99% on Magazo's second stock. Right? That's, that's, that's the thing about, you know, JD, right? You're, you're it, puts it puts the pressure on. It puts the pressure on you, but he has a confidence to yeah. Sam. The only Sam wants to see it happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just trying to curse it. I was keeping him out of house to try. Nice. Okay, grabbing him off stage right now. Works for the grab and does not fire. Magus are able to run out inside of his grab. Comes in with there. That's an opportunity for the spacing. space. He gets a forwarder. I do like the fact that he gets a here. Goes for side, but doesn't finish it because Lloyd is out there at a time. Alright, he runs up with the down air, but he does not fire. Magus are able to take stage control, but not for long as that Lloyd Rocket has come out and hit him. Alright, grab looks for the forwarder afterwards, but the guy from the end knocks him down. Very nice. Doesn't finish off that side B. Uh, okay, so I, I respect the rest of your dodge, but it looked like he might have tried to go for the ledge, but he missed it, unfortunately. Not a lot of time to get the punish. Yeah, Ant is just all over this man right now. Back up out of it. Yeah, and I, if I were Magazo, looking for the ledge would have been the much better option for coming in for an aerial because the way that Ant was already looking for those back airs, was looking for that spacing, was looking for the punish. That kind of just dictates like where he was going. Like I said, sometimes instead of trying to fight for the stage, you should be trying to fight for the ledge to reset yourself rather than to, you know, get punished yeah. by your opponent for coming in for an aerial. Yeah, and sometimes you're just a little overzealous on your landing and it amplifies the damage you're taking. Yeah. I mean, that's why they call it a cross counter sometimes. Like, you go for the hit where your opponent's the one really just not understanding what you're going for. All right, so is Smash 4 going to be the pick here? It looks like it is now. Did you say Smash 4? I heard, I heard you say Smash 4. Smash Go. I was like, is Smash 4 going to be a pick? I was like, hold the phone, man. Yeah, we have, we, Stop the prices. the Wii U out. I lost game number one. It was my pick. Bring out the Wii U. Take me take me back to when Bayo was great. Yeah, I'm trying to play Bayo. I'm trying to play some Cloud into the Wii Right? But no, instead we have Roy. Cross Slash we moved on to this character. Not that much of a transition. It's cross slash without having to worry about living. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But you know, a little bit. At least it's harder to space because you have to get the sweet spot. That is true. Uh, whereas Cloud got clipped by a single hit of Ant Maximum and he died it. Oh, nice. Good enough forward there, making sure Ant's off the stage. But he lets him ride the Void Rocket back to the oh. center stage. He misses the forward air, Mark. So that's the sweet spot. You talked about it earlier, right? How you can get some kills with it. Definitely a good demonstration of how forward smash would work in this scenario. Yeah, this is a good turnaround from game number one here for Magazo. Down there, nice. We took it back here, and unfortunately, I talked about it earlier. Oh, yeah, that was. Mm -hmm. not a good guy. It is not. I don't want to say the DI was sus, man, but the DI was not existing this one. <laughs> Alright, Dash Track puts him on the platform. Great coverage right here from Ant. Use the back air and the up tilt to just cover every option. Magazo answering with the side. He gets some damage on Calls out the jump with the forward air. What's the edge guard going to be? No, missing the opportunity here. And I did like the fact that I had the patience there on the platform because he wanted to see how Magazo was going to land. That's one thing for Magazo to also understand. Ant's looking for his landing and not like how he's coming back on stage. So that's what I'm saying. Magazo is focusing on getting back on ledge instead of trying to come back on stage in the aerial. Yeah, and I feel like we've seen Magazo call out the jumps on ledge by him over and over with Fodas, putting him back off stage time and time again. I'm, I want to. Oh. And start mixing it up because every time he's gone for like a double jump fair over the ledge, it's not like that. Yeah. Nice good up there to stop him from going for a possible forward air or down air. Water's it's a plant, but he doesn't finish off the bucket just yet. And I don't know, Muggles would have come in for a double edge dance. The stock here looking mighty close between both players. Alright. Uh, team off the ledge doesn't want to get caught with anything. Interesting counter, but no punish. And not in a position to get the grab he wanted. 
nice control. I really like that. He needs to really get up. And honestly, because he kind of had Magus psyched out from between a plant, and that's kind of what makes Crack pretty decently here on Tom Smash Bros. Is the fact that it kind of almost blends in with the spit stage the way the sapling is. But yeah, it's so small if you're not looking for it, it you'll just miss it sometimes. Yeah. Near into the Lloyd, into the phone, and he for the down air. Magazo is a great choice going above the ledge and just hitting Ant out of it. Nice. He saw the direction of air dodge and he punched it really for it. And there was the roll read one more time, especially with the fact that how he had the tree set up there. Yeah. It was looking to get Magazo to force him out of the roll. Looks for the side B, but cannot make it connect all the way. Oh, um, I was going to say, man. Oh, you oh, asked like too much. Wow, great match right there. He's probably one of those guys. Duck with the... slam and his control on the table. <laughs> I just smack your face in the controller. <laughs> Play for the best. The best thing you can do as Pokemon Trainer right here is you press A, B, start down. Hopefully that'll get you to match out instantly. Yeah. But unfortunately, hopefully for Makazo, that'll get him not to SDI instantly. Oh, Wouldn't yeah. it be funny? Like, okay, it's a terrible joke, honestly, but like you hold A, B down the way you would do in Pokemon, the game when you try to catch Pokemon. Okay. I've heard so many different theories on like, oh, this is what I do when I try and catch a no, Pokemon. No, those are all urban legends. It's not true. I know. You, you do not hold A 